What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my great subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is um, a collective reading. Caps and Sagittarius, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general reading. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Um, I got a channeling in. I've been getting getting them in all day. Y'all know that. So I'm sharing it. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Um, nice to have you hanging out with me on Christmas. Just saying, just saying. It's just me, myself, and I today. So um, I'm glad. Nice to have you hanging with me. Just saying, just saying. If you're tuning in. Um, if you think anyone else could benefit from the channel. Um, or would enjoy the channel if you wouldn't mind sharing my channel very publicly via word of mouth or sharing my channel on social media and the videos. I very much appreciate it. Single mom and two kids, so it really, really, really helps um, promote my channel. I'd appreciate it. Okay, so the channeling I received was about a very toxic Aquarius masculine attempting to come back. So I'm going to go ahead and share the channeling, and if I get anything else, we'll do it. Okay. So it's a free general reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, this could resonate for you or somebody you're connected to, or maybe you're the toxic Aquarius for all I know. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. I feel you could either be the toxic Aquarius or somebody connected to the toxic Aquarius in some shape, form, or fashion. Is it a, it is a toxic Aquarius masculine. They could have Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, Jupiter charts. Aquarius masculine. He has a penile part. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So the channeling I received was um, a very toxic Aquarius masculine is about to attempt to return to your life soon. Um, and I just want to say it's, uh, I think it's two or more toxic Aquarius masculines and you'll know why in a second. Um, however, Major series of chain events are about to occur in this toxic, um, some of these toxic Aquarius masculines life soon. Um, some, um, I heard, okay, so I heard that, sorry, I was jumping ahead. I heard that, and then I heard um, um, significant series of chain events are about to occur that's going to prevent, that's going to prevent the toxic Aquarius, whether it's whoever this person is in your life and however this situation applies, because I feel there's two or more in here is what I'm saying. Um, it's going to prevent this toxic Aquarius from coming back into your life, basically. Um, I also heard, too, at the end of that one, I heard has traveled and moved far away from you because they have wronged you so badly in the past. So whoever this toxic Aquarius masculine is, they have currently already moved, or they've moved and traveled and moved away far away from you um, because they have wronged you so badly in the past. So they have done something to you, if this resonates with you, very bad. Now, I didn't hear what the hell it was that was so bad that they did to you, but it was real, real bad, whatever it was. But they, so bad that they packed up and they moved. They moved far away. I think for some states or maybe a country or, I mean, far, far. But they did it for strategic reasons. But now some of them want to come back. They want to come back. Now, why they want to come back? I have no idea. Please, God, use your best intuition and judgment. If you feel this resonates with you and you know that you can identify who this person is in your life, please use your best logic, intuition, and reasoning. Everybody has free will. Of course, you can allow this toxic person back into your life or not, but there's a reason they got, they upped and left. It's, um, I think they were afraid the community was going to find out they wronged you so bad or somebody in the community was going to afraid, was afraid they were, they wronged you so bad in the past. Um, for some of them, because there's a reason they just up and just freaking, I feel, I feel for some, they just packed their bags and they just left. For some, they could have pre-planned it. For some, they could um, be a trust fund baby and just, you know, had all the money in the world and just freaking scooted it out or had rich connections and scooted it out. You plug it in how it resonates, but they were able to get out, but now they want to come back. Now they want to come back. Now I want to rosy mosey back. Bitch, please. Just saying. Oh my God, that's terrible. But, of course, you have free will, and you can do what you want to do, okay? Um, so, I heard they traveled, they moved. They moved and traveled very far locations because of something t horrendous they have done to you. Now, I didn't hear specifically what they did to you. Um, 
what it, however that resonates um for some i feel it could be like a secret 7s type energy i'm not even gonna lie i didn't hear that but i feel it could be um but i heard significant series of chain events are about to occur in their life soon that's basically going to prevent the energy shift they want an energy shift back into your life i think because they realize you're good luck or you're good fortune or you are a good person and they they might be narcissists and they want maybe your impact and they want to feed off your energy time money etc possibly possibly for some i do for some i feel it's a narcissistic empathic paradigm and i feel they're the narcissist and i'm not even gonna lie about that i'm serious um i didn't hear that that's just my feelings okay but i like i said i didn't even get to this these these are big freaking things um but it's about to prevent the Aquarius masculine from coming back um these big life events so I heard one of them is a very significant bar brawl. I heard very significant bar brawl that's going to end up in arrest and um, gang stalking. That was the first one. So these Aquarius masculines want to come back into your life. Now, you could have been a friend. You could have been a lover. You could have been a past lover. You could have been a um, person, like somebody they grew up with in the past, um, like kindergarten, you could have went to kindergarten with them or college with them or high school or what have you. You, I mean, you could have been a lover, a past lover. You could have been a coworker, an ex-coworker, a, a family member, whoever you are to this toxic Aquarius masculine, however they plug in your life. I feel narcissistic energy. I didn't hear it, but I feel, feel it. And I'm serious. Um, but one of them, so there's several ways these people are not going to, it's like the energy shift's going to be cut off because they want to come back to you. But something's, it sounds like these series of chain events are about to prevent them from coming back to you, if that makes sense. One of them I heard was a significant bar brawl that's going to result in um, jailing and gang stalking. So that's one Aquarius masculine out there. They're about, uh, it sounds like it, this hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. Sounds like they're about to, they apparently like to frequent bars or they're going to frequent a bar in some shape, form, or fashion that's going to result in a bar brawl and a jail, a jailing. So I'm assuming this Aquarius masculine will be jailed and gang stalking. So I don't know if he's going to be gang stalked in jail or if he's going to be gang stalked when he bails out, if he is able to bail out. Um, or somebody get you know, or he serves his time and gets out. How that resonates. Um, but some kind of gang stalking and bar brawl and police energy for the first one. Um, the second one I heard, um, that's why I think it's two or more Aquarius masculines in the universe. The second one I heard, um, 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 very significant accident during travels, um, will result in um, hospitalization and for one particular Aquarius, a prosthesis will be needed. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy crap. So some kind of, they're going to be trying to travel back to you. Um, I heard from Spirit, they moved, they traveled far away from you. So I'm feeling states. I'm feeling possible country. I'm feeling far away, you guys, far away. But so one is the bar brawl energy with jail and gang stalking. The second one I heard travel, um, they're, they are going to be energetically phys and physically traveling back. So it might be driving, it might be flying, um, it might be train, it might be plane, it might, I mean, it might be boat. You plug it in how it resonates, but some kind of traveling energy, but some kind of significant accident is going to occur on this traveling energy and it's going to result in a hospitalization and a prosthesis. A prosthesis. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, a prosthesis is like a fake limb. It's like a fake limb. So, it sounds like something is going to be, it sounds like the travel energy is going to result in some kind of amputation, like accident and amputation energy is what I'm trying to say. Some kind of accident and amputation energy. Now, I don't know if it'll be, you know, if it'll be a finger, three fingers, an arm, a leg, two legs. Um, it doesn't sound like, like it's amputation from gangrene. For some, it could be. It could maybe they're in some kind of arctic area and their their limb or limbs gets gangrene, possibly. Um, but for a lot of these Aquarius masculines, I feel it is like like a traumatic accident, like 
they get caught up in something and then an arm gets chopped off. And so they have to go to the hospital, you know, because their arm's freaking hanging off. And then they end up having to get it amputated off. That's just an example, but you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of prosthesis, energy, traumatic accident that requires a hospitalization and a chopping of a limb or limbs. It could be an arm, a finger, a leg, both legs. You plug it in how it resonates. And the uh, last one I heard, um, um, oh crap, hold on, I forgot. That was the second one. Oh, yeah. Um, the last one I heard, um, uh, contracture of hepatitis B and a pregnancy. So, um, yeah, I forgot. So, contracture of hepatitis B and a pregnancy. Um, so, you plug it in, how it resonates. So, they want to come back to you. They want to come back to you. Now, whoever you are, a past lover, a person of the past, um, somebody grew up with, their mama. I mean, I don't know. Somebody, somebody of their past. They have moved very far from you, very far distance, either states or country or countries or what have you. It sounds like they're in, they, some of them, they're going to physically be in the process of traveling back to you. It sounds like with the bar brawl, possible bar brawl energy, possibly, if it's not in their local hometown before they travel. And the second one is definitely traveling energy because it's some, I don't know what the crap you'd be getting involved in while you're traveling that's going to cause a limb to freaking come come off. Ooh, it might be a motor vehicle accident. For, I mean, it might be a motorcycle accident. I just thought about that. With the prosthesis energy, the second one with the traveling, maybe they own a motorcycle or somebody they are connected to owns a motorcycle and they borrow it and then get an accident and then boom, a um, limb gets taken off. Possibly, possibly. It's just an example. But you plug it in, how it resonates. And then um, the third one, I heard a contracture of hepatitis B in a pregnancy. So for some, I feel you could be past lovers or they're interested in you to have a relationship, but they're going to end up contracting hep B and a pregnancy. So for some, they could already have children, but it sounds like they're about to, one of these Aquariuses in the universe, they're going to end up getting somebody pregnant before they get back to you. So um you plug it in now how it resonates. So when I received this channeling, I looked up hepatitis B. Now I'm fairly familiar with hep B, contracture, how you contract hep B, but it's been a minute. So I like to refresh my knowledge. So I'm going to read it for everybody on the channel. So everybody has the same knowledge um, for hep B. Because the third Aquarius, I heard um, they want to come back to you. I feel that might have been wanting a relationship, just being for real. Because if you were their mother or sister or whatever, I'm sure they would tell you about the baby and the baby mama and um, and the hep B, probably for some. So it, for the third situation, I feel it's somebody that wanted a relationship with you is what I'm feeling. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But okay, so hepatitis B, it's contagious. It can be prevented by vaccine, the hep B vaccine. And it spreads by blood products i.e. unclean needles or unscreened blood. So, unclean needles, meaning drug use or just any kind of unclean needles. Um, drug use like meth use through a banger, you know, the banger needles, they call them on the street, or any kind of unclean needles. Um, by mother to baby, by pregnancy, labor, or nursing. So, it could be spread from mom, mom to baby. And having unprotected, unprotected vaginal, anal, or oral sex. So, unclean, like drug drug use, unclean needles, or any kind of unclean needles, don't have to be a drug use, and unprotected sex, and by the mother of the baby, but that wouldn't apply in this situation. So, unprotected sex, vaginal, anal, or oral, and unclean needles, possible illicit drug use, um, is where I was going with that. So, you plug it in how it resonates, and that's hepatitis B for the third situation. Um, so this hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to, it sounds like they are, um, wanting to come back, travel back to you soon. Um, now I didn't hear a time frame on this for some, it could be three hours from now. Some, it could be three days from now. Some, it could be three weeks from now, some a month from now, who knows? Everybody's on different time and life paths. You have to plug it in how it resonates, but there's three categories in here. Somebody's about going to be jailed in a bar brawl. 
um, and gang stalk. I think community gang stalk or jail people gang stalk. Somebody's going to lose a limb or limbs in some kind of traumatic big accident, either um, either an arm, a leg, or finger or something. And somebody's going to end up getting somebody pregnant and contracting hepatitis B. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy moly, it's an Aquarius masculine energy that wants to come back to you if this resonates for you. And however it plugs in your life, they can have Aquarius and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charts, Toxic, Aquarius, Masculine. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I love you guys so much. I hope these help, messages help. If you think they could help anybody else, please share my video word of mouth and social media. I'd very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.